Hello everybody. Uh, I just want to make a quick video real fast. Try to make it quick. Um, the, the last few days, I've been getting attacked by the enemy. And uh, he's been trying to put thoughts in my head, trying to uh, discourage me, trying to put all these lies in my mind. And um, uh, and even sometimes I get these moments uh, of believing I'm the old me and not believing in who I am today. Um, certain things trigger it. I, uh, certain environments, certain situations I go, I, I'm in, it, it brings me flashbacks of the times I used to be in dark moments, like real dark moments of, of loneliness and alone and, and just so depressed and no drive. And those flashbacks, will I would feel these emotions from back in those from the past. And I'll feel like those emotions, like that's still who I am today. And boy, I fight it some days because I know I'm not that person no more. And I know I, know I came a long way. And um, But the enemy just tries to attack me and attack me. And like I said, the last few days, I've been under attack big time. I had to get away and uh, just be alone and just take a break from the world and just step uh, um, step away from the noise because it's so loud inside my in my own inner world. I don't need the noise from the outer world. Um, but here it is, man. We need to remember not who we are. We need to remember who resides in us. That's what we need to remember. We don't need confidence in ourselves. We need to truly believe and have confidence in the Lord, in the Holy Spirit. Because when we gave ourselves to Him, He came to us. When we came to him, he came into us and touched our inner world and touched our soul and he resides in us. And that's who we are. No matter what that enemy tries to tell you who you are, you need to know who the Lord is because he is within you and he is within me. That's what we need to remember. And that's what I need to remember. I need to have more confidence in him, less confidence in myself and, 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 and stop trying to listen to the lies of the enemy because I am redeemed and I am new in Christ. And if I even try to have confidence in myself, I'll doubt myself because I think I still am sometimes that old person. But if I don't believe, if I don't believe in myself or have confidence in myself, I'm only in the flesh and I have no kind of power. But if I believe and have trust and have faith and have confidence in Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit, in our Lord, our Savior, He, he resides in us. That's who I am, and that's who he made me, and that and he had and he will bring me to the things he wants me where he wants me to go. It's not about me, it's about him. And that's what I need to continue to, to, to dwell on, to focus on, and to only prioritize everything and have my all my thoughts and my heart on him. Oh, man. Like I said, it's going to be a real quick video. Uh, I just want to say a couple things or read a couple scriptures. Now, I want to read God's word. I want to read his word. His word is powerful. And I'm going to read it because this is his word and it is true. Oh, facts. All right. First Corinthians six seventeen says, but whoever is united with the Lord is one with him in spirit. 
But whoever is united with the Lord is one with him in spirit. Whoever is united with the Lord is one with him in spirit. That's who we are. Oh, man. Real fast, real fast. Like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time. Romans 6.6. 6. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. And what we did was we crucified our old self with him. Our old self was crucified. We are no longer that person. We are no longer that person who, who, who lives in sin. But we might, we are not that person. Oh, man. The power of penalty, sin, commentary, the power of penalty of sin died with Christ on the cross. Our old self, our sinful nature died once and for all. So we are free from its power. The body ruled by sin is not the human body, but our rebellious sin-loving nature inherited from Adam through our body willingly cooperates with our sinful nature. We must not regard the body as evil. It is the sin in us that is evil, and it is this power of sin at work in our body that is defeated. Paul has already stated that through faith in Christ we stand acquitted, not guilty before God. Here Paul emphasizes that we need no longer live under sin's power. God does not take us out of this world or make us robots. We will still feel like sinning and sometimes we will sin. The difference is that before we were saved, we were slaves to our sinful nature, but now we can choose to live for Christ. Galatians 3.27 for all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. Oh. I'm reading his word. And, 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 and let this soak in because this is what's true and this is who you are. Not, what, not the thoughts of what's in your mind. Not the thoughts of who the enemy is trying to tell you to be. This is who you are. This is words from our creator, and he is telling us who we are right now. Colossians 3, 9 and 10. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices, and you have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices and put it on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. We no longer live in that dark no more. We are no longer in those moments. We are with the Lord now. We are walking with Christ. His love is shining on us. His light is shining on us. Let it shine. The enemy wants to hold you back and try to continue to put that darkness on you and hold you and hold you down and stop you from walking with the Lord. Oh, man, this is who we are. And this is who he lives with inside of us. First Peter 2, 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. One more. 1 John 4.4 4. You dear children are from God and have 
overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Thank you, Father. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you, the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. It is easy to be, commentary says, it is easy to be frightened by the wickedness we see all around us and overwhelmed by the problems we face. Evil is obviously much stronger than we are. John assures us, however, that God is even stronger. He will conquer all evil. And his spirit and his word live in our hearts. He will conquer all evil. And his spirit and his word live in our hearts. He has conquered all evil. He is victorious. He is victorious who resides in us. So even though we feel like we battle, the war is already won. Walk in victory. We must walk in victory, not walk in doubt. And we must walk in victory and proclaim who lives with us and who we are. We must stand firm. First Corinthians 16, 13. First Corinthians 16, 13. Be on guard. Stand firm in faith. Be courageous. Be strong. And do everything with love. First Corinthians 16, 13 all says, be on guard. Stand firm in faith. Be courageous. Be strong. And do everything with love. Oh, man. Isaiah 40, 31. Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Those who trust in the Lord, we must trust in the Lord, will find new strength to battle, to fight. And to become victorious because he who lives in us has already won. Oh, man. Praise God. Praise the Lord. This is who we are. This is who I am. Today. My Father. Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Savior. Thank you. I love you guys.